to my channel and today's video is going to be a update video for the video I done six months ago why plywood is best for hanging a vest mount for a television in that video I discussed that I was going to be hanging a Hisense H8G 55 inch television that was going to be coming in in a few days unfortunately uh, the television come in defective and damaged so um, I did not do a video on that uh, particular television uh, nevertheless um, I just got a comment um, about a day ago asking where the other video was so this is where the update is um, coming in at I'm doing the update on this Vizio television that I purchased at Walmart only a few days after um, I returned the Hisense. Now this television was a few hundred dollars cheaper than the Hisense television. In addition, the remote control uh, has your numerical pad along with your volume and channel buttons. It has your uh, home button, your quick access uh, buttons at the top for Netflix and Hulu, etc. It has a uh, quick live uh, button for uh, free live access TV for Pluto TV. Uh, however, please note that when trying to access the battery compartment for the remote control, you'll need a flathead screwdriver or a knife to pry the back cover off. Because, of furthermore, the free watch television function for this Vizio television is provided by Pluto TV which is integrated within the TV itself so you don't have to have any um, external application to view it. Um, however I would have liked to have seen this integration in with the over-the-air television or or the cable uh, coaxial uh, input but these two are separated unlike uh, what you would find on a um, on the uh, Samsung Q70R or something similar. In addition, this function can be very laggy at times and very un unresponsive. Um, moreover, to this notion, the picture quality is going to vary depending on what kind of content is being displayed, such as uh, 480p, 720p, or 1080p, etc and um, the video quality will improve um, depending on your internet connection. Some other key specifications and or features for this television include the smart platform which is a Vizio SmartCast with Chromecast built in. The SmartCast version is 3.0 the resolution for this television is again 3840 by 2160 which means it's a 4k television um, high damage range includes dolby vision hdr10 and hlg the spatial scaling engine is part of the uhd upscaling engine the display processor is an octa-core processor the backlighting technology for this television is a full array LED and it does have built-in Wi-Fi using the 802.11 AC dual band wireless signal. Um, it has the support for UHD codec support for uh, VP9 and HVEC um, H265. In addition uh, to these specifications, it also has an ARC specification as well. The display refresh rate is a native 60 hertz, but can upscale to 120 hertz through motion interpolation. The aspect ratio of this television is 16 by 9, and the viewable angle for this television is 76 degrees by 76 degrees. The audio uh, speakers that are provided uh, within the television, uh, the power output for these speakers are 10 watts times 2. So you get two 10-watt speakers totaling 20 watts uh, for both. It is a VESA mount compliant. 
and the bezel mount pattern for this particular television is going to be 400 millimeters by 200 millimeters and the screw size for the um for the uh bezel mount pattern on the back of the television is going to be an m6 with a hole depth of 12 millimeter additionally if you want to uh, use this television on a stand um, which the feet are provided you'll need uh, m5 screws with a length of 18 millimeters this television includes three hdmi ports that are 2.0 compliant a antenna and or cable input through coaxial cable it includes a USB 2.0 port, um, a composite port for audio and video in, for devices such as VCRs and older DVD players. It also includes a audio out port through RCA cables and an audio out port for um, optical out. The picture quality for this television is good for its price range it's a full red backlit as stated before um, it's black crushing is a minimal from what i can tell the sound quality for this television is so part best so a sound system or sound bar would be ideal in my opinion um, in addition to this the actual uh, volume will vary depending on what you're watching and how it was mastered uh, furthermore, uh, there are various settings in the menus to adjust the color in the picture, but a calibration is recommended if you can afford it uh, for accurate, detailed uh, picture quality. Um, in addition to this, um, the video that you're seeing as far as the picture quality is concerned is going to vary um, to the actual television due to what it was shot on, which was my cell phone which is a uh, J7 Refine from Samsung, which was shot at 1080p video. Um, in addition, this is a very reasonable budget set between four and 600 bucks, depending on whether or not you can find it on sale or not. This is a 60 inch television. And um, overall for the past six months, it has been a great buy for me for my particular needs. Um, it does have low latency gaming um, function and it does have a film function as well. The uh, Dolby Vision is, um, it looks good. Uh, I have seen better, but then again, it all depends on the lighting level of this television, which is very low. So this television is not going to be good for a bright room environment. A dark room environment would be best. Um, that's all I've got to say about this television at this moment in time. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below the video, and I will uh, try to get back to them as soon as possible. Uh, if you need any more information, that information will be, be provided in the uh, description below. I thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe out there, God bless, and later days. Thank you for watching my channel, Hayes' Gaming and Tech. And as always, God bless, and we will catch you in the next video.